So we've woken up in Los Angeles and it is beautiful. I will show you, like I mentioned last night, the patio area that we've got. So I've just stepped outside and we've got this little balcony ta uh, table and chair set up, which is so cute. And this is like the view. How amazing is that? So cute. Let's go over there, someone's house. I think that's actually, I think that's the people that own this airbnb guest house i'm sure it is because there's a little gate here and steps that go down i don't want to like shove a camera over there properly but yeah it's it's very cute and then up here i don't think you can see because the trees i don't know if you can pick it up on camera over there there's like houses and over there all built up in the hills this is amazing and it's a beautiful day again it gives it 30 today super hot i've got a cute little little bow top on we're gonna head to rodeo drive and then i think we're gonna go down like melrose avenue and go to the grove so it's gonna be a nice chilled one we'll have we've had a bit of a slow morning again just to try and recuperate ourselves and i'm feeling very grateful for that i'm not gonna lie because i feel completely alive i think for the first few days we were just so jet lagged as well it doesn't help <laughs> but yeah feeling human and I'm really excited for today and just to explore parts of Los Angeles. So this is the road that we're actually down. It's a private road. So we're just going to walk up here because we've ordered a lift um, just to make it easy rather than driving around because parking is going to be an absolute nightmare um, <clears throat> around downtown LA. So yeah, we've got a lift on its way and it has cost about $25. It's definitely not cheap here. Um, also bear in mind like peak times and things like that. We've made it outside the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. So we got dropped off here and this is actually the hotel on Pretty Woman, which is incredible. I actually re-watched that like the other week just to get myself in the hype for our trip here to LA so it goes all the way around the front doesn't it so yeah. honestly that drive took so much longer than I thought it would it's so warm it's so hot isn't it <laughs> but yeah this is like you know that hottest day in the UK yeah this is like that yeah it is beautiful I am not complaining whatsoever but yeah it's um, very warm and yeah it took us so much longer in the car than I thought it was when we were looking on when we were looking on the maps we were like is that, I don't know, did we look and we were like, is it a walking distance or it'll be like a, an hour walk or something, oh, yeah, but yeah, that we we felt in like we were in the, an hour and a half walk scares me. <laughs> it, it felt like we were in the car a long time, we was in traffic. El Camino. El Camino. Remember, yeah, Breaking on Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, that was so good with Jesse. Mm -hmm. Love that. So yeah, we're on Rodeo Drive now. Rodeo Drive, baby. Look, this is the hotel. Wow, so fancy. Yeah, I need to. Have you not? Have you not seen it at all? The film. Uh, maybe once. Yeah. Fit. To get all the pictures, I need to get all the picture pictures. <laughs> I can't believe we're here. It's looking all fancy. The 
Burberry over there, Louis Vuitton, and yeah, this is just incredible. I mean, many shops that I will be window shopping for sure. Ryan said this area is actually on GTA, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna head up here. Looks absolutely lush, so fancy. Very, very fancy. I tried to dress a little bit fancier today, so I don't want to <laughs> That's a bit extra, isn't it? I was like, oh, this is a good opportunity to put these sunglasses on and this massive, like, bow top thing that I've not worn yet. So I was like, this is a good opportunity for that. But this area is absolutely stunning. I love all, like, the black lampposts and, like, the black, like, outside of the window shops and stuff. It looks really classy, really fancy. But Versace here. Porsche design. Ooh. It's a nice little place to eat out here. So we've done a bit of a loop and you can see here the hotel from Pretty Woman right ahead of us now. You can actually see it properly and everyone's eating outside over there. It looks absolutely lush. It's Beverly Wilshire Hotel. We've got a lovely waterfall and Tiffany Co here. It's very, very fancy. Everyone's been taking pictures of these little steps. Shop, home of it. What did you say it was? Home of it's close. Oh, it's like a cake shop, explosion on cakes. Oh, that's cute. Honestly, it feels so surreal walking around here. Beverly Drive. I've just been walking around and looking window shopping, <laughs> and it's it's amazing like how all the individual clothing's just hung up like pieces. Everyone's on the door, it's so quiet and dead in all the shops. Um, I don't know if you have to get an appointment and stuff if you want to shop in there, if you can just walk in. I have no idea how it works, but obviously we're just uh, doing a little window shopping and experiencing Rodeo Drive, because <laughs> when in LA. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you got to wake up to reality. Because I can see in your eyes, your head is full. having a little stroll now we're en route to Melrose Avenue we're going to the Earth Cafe I've heard good things about that place and we're probably we're pretty parched not gonna lie so it'd be nice to just stop off somewhere grab some food and drink and just chill until on the next leg of the journey and I saw look look another one rolled up newspaper they actually do chuck them on the grass here like on the films i don't know why i found that amazing and why why i've never thought that was actually real but you know like on all the films you get someone like just biking past and chucking them out they're all rolled up and they're on the front gardens I'm so amazed by that <laughs> we've literally come walking still down melrose and there's the pretty little thing shop and they've got massive like unicorns in the window <laughs> that is so cute look at that window display Oh wow, huh. I love that. Food has arrived, I've gone for the acai bowl which looks absolutely amazing. I've been craving some healthy food. Ryan has gone for the pizza, wild mushroom pizza and that looks delicious. We're just waiting for our drinks at the minute. We've both ordered sunshine juices and it's got like Pineapple, ginger, apple, celery in it. I think that's everything that was in it. But this looks really, really good. And I can't wait to delve in. We finished up at Earth Cafe. Um, my acai bowl was so good. So you I mean, this juice is so good. The ginger is very strong. So Ryan got the same, but he asked without ginger because he didn't want the harshness, which is completely understandable. Because it's like very, very strong. It gives you a proper kick, but I really like that. Um, Ryan said his mushroom pizza was really nice, but nothing like special. Just, just standard good pizza. But yeah, it was really nice, and it was good to have a sit down. And we're just gonna have a little wander down Melrose Avenue now. I think we're gonna head over to like the Pink Wall. Um, so Joe and Juice. Oh, I love Joe and the Juice. That's really good. <laughs> so we've got Juice. Yeah. Mm. 
can't remember. Yeah, we've had them do it in the news before. We have them in London. You see gloss, yeah. Oh, Glossier's over here. We're good. Oh, I hope they let us in with a drink. <laughs> I really want to pop in. We've come into Glossier. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I'm going to go look at all the little lip balms. <laughs> I'm thinking of picking up a, a little lip balm. I am pretty good because the birthday cake one's out of stock. <laughs> I've had this one before, the rosebalm.com. Thinking either mango or coconut sounds good. We've got little lip colours, uh, cheek colours, sorry. So pretty in here. So I've decided what I'm going to get and I will show you later. My name was called and I got my little Glossier package. It's got a little sticker in there. Exciting. Right, we had to sit on this little marble seating to be called. Now, on to our next adventure. Made it to the famous pink wall, the Paul Smith wall. Might have to get a little picky here while we're there. Tell you what, it's just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. I feel my face sweating. <laughs> it's so warm. And we've been walking miles. Like, I'm proud of us for getting like a lift to Rodeo Drive and walking all the way to Melrose. And we're iron stoppers to grow. So we would have walked so far to be fair. But it's been really nice, just like sightseeing I'm glad we've walked it back because we've been able to see so much more I know you can see it all in the car but you're able to just like stop pop into shops and just really explore the area and get a feel for what it's really like here and um, yeah it's great there's just so much going on so much to look at but yeah the, the heat is something else it is like this today and tomorrow and then I think it starts to cool down, doesn't it? Yeah. I think, well, and then the next day is like 25, but it, it does lower and then 22, so it might be a bit more bearable. I'm pleased that it's going to be like 22 when we do Universal, because I don't know if I could do Universal in this heat. Even though we do it in Orlando, but it just feels different, doesn't it? It feels like, I feel like it feels more intense here, but we're just... I don't even know where we are, we're just walking, but there's a sign there for cannabis. Um, we've got over here, I don't know what that is, a clothing shop, Pop uh, London. Kobe Bryant mural over there. The what, sorry? Kobe Bryant. Oh yeah, the Kobe Bryant mural over there in the distance, I don't know if you can see that. It's got him doing the basketball with the angel wings. Oh. It's all happening though, we think we just witnessed like, not a robbery, we didn't witness the robbery, but we're, there was a copper that was going into the shop and there was two police cars like parked outside the shop. And now we've got fire engines flying and hands here. It's all happening. Can you see over there all black smoke? It's absolutely covering. We are heading, we're well, not towards it, but we're going this way. I just noticed it, I was like, there's a really bad fire somewhere over there. It's just absolutely pouring behind the trees. Oh yeah, and chairs. We've come into Rip and Dip and it's very cool in here. Look at all of these. <laughs> I'm Mike and the alien and the um, cat statues as we exit. <laughs> very cool. Come into Doll's Kill, and it's we knew it'd just be super edgy, and we're just like <laughs> amazed. It's like a little rave going on here. Look at some of these shoes. <laughs> these have got butterflies on them. <laughs> Clouds. Oh my gosh, right? Look at these. I love them. <laughs> SpongeBob and Patrick on them. Also, if I could walk in heels this big for a long period of time, they would be a bit of me. <gasps> right, there's another one here. It's got Squidward on it, and around here, it's got Patrick Star. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's very cool. It's very edgy in here. Look how long they are there, and then there. Oh yeah, they've got little wings. Wow. They're so tall, some of these. I actually want this picnic basket. It's a coffin, and it's got bats in it. It's a coffin picnic basket. That's so cool. <laughs> it's pink as well. I love it. $100. Yeah, it's so cool. We've just come out of Doll's Kill and 
I love that shop, so did Rye. That was really fun and different. There's actually so many pieces in there that I would wear, like crazy fluffy jackets, like all sorts. And I was just like, I loved it. So fun, different. And the shop was so vibey. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that, that that was the vibe of the music. It was dark. I don't know. Oh, just it like, yeah, it was like ravey, wasn't it? It's so good. All right, I'm loving this. We're just literally having a slow walk and just popping into places as we see them. But yeah, it's really, it's really nice. The smoke, we can't see it anymore, so we think it's been put up. Oh, put out. Um, yeah, fire engines are all down there, but smoke's kind of gone now, so... Yeah, I don't know what caused the fire, but it didn't look good. Just waiting to cross the road. We've made it. You see the sign? It says Farmer's Market, so this is like the Grove Farmer's Market and kind of eatery place. We've made it, it's about an hour and a half walk, but probably a little bit longer because we were dipping in and out of places, but we, we did a long walk and there were a lot of sightseeing there, so we've made it to our destination. <laughs> they have a bakery for dogs. That is so cute. If only we had a dog. <laughs> Got all this fresh fruit, so we're walking through the farmer's market bit first. <laughs> this is so cute. Want some bananas? <laughs> So we wanted to get a drink. We're going back. We're going back. Oh, they've got freshly squeezed orange juice here. Oh, they're in ice. Juice. We've got apple juice. Pineapple juice. Pine oh, got pineapple juice. You want a pineapple? Yeah. Let's get pineapple juice. Oh, look how cute they are. <laughs> Do you want to get a bigger one? Well, they've got a bigger one. At the back. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's get a bigger one, sure. Or did you well, want? No, I don't want pineapple. So do you want a little oh, one? Oh, well, I'll just get a little one then, yeah. I'm gonna get a lemonade. I think it looks very nice and fresh, especially on a hot day. <laughs> but here, oh, we've got organic dried mango. Oh, tajin mango. So many different types of mango, who knew? <laughs> this oh, I know it's just like fruit and convention stuff but wasabi peas wasabi peas Ooh. everything looks so appealing right now <laughs> got all these grapes so I got my small one and mine got a large one and all together it was 9.98 I think that was quite pricey but Ryan was like it's not too bad but I was just like wanting like something refreshing is it good Got enough hands. <laughs> That's really nice. What's that got in it? Coconut, coconut. coconut, melons, grape, strawberry, kiwi, orange, papaya, and mango. Everything. That's really I've got, refreshing. I've got my five a day today. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, that's really good. And I've got my little pine, maybe little pineapple one, so I'm gonna drink that now. Oh, there's a Zara over there. Should we, should we sit down and just oh, recuperate? Kip's oh, Kip's Toyland. Oh, my mum and dad's dog's called Kipper, so that was our little reference there. Do you wanna have a sit down? There's some seats and stuff over there. We can just have a moment and, yeah, rest our little feet for a moment after our, after a long walk, yeah. Let's sit by the water feature walking through here I had a major catastrophe there it come up memory card error and it said it was locked and I was panicking I lost all of my footage but I think it's okay <laughs> because cross if you're watching this we've sat back down and um, just while I sorted that out um, we've just walked through like a part of the farmers market and this is like a massive like eatery area so cute it's like a coffee corner over there you can see everyone sat down right <laughs> panic over so many different eating options here. We've got sushi there, sandwiches over there. We're just walking through all these different areas. Oh wow, look at those. Caramel apples, graham crackers. Oh my goodness. That's Little John's. We've got chicken plates here. Breakfast, it's absolutely massive. Oh, Nonna's empanadas. Oh, we've had, right, we had the empanadas at um, Universal that time. They were really good. Got all these sauces. All the hot sauces. <laughs> Look at that. CJ on fire. <laughs> oh, gosh. These are so funny. 
Oh my god, just slap your mama. Camel toe. Camel toe. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, wide range of um, hot sauces there. <laughs> this is like a little bar, winery to my right. I won't try not to show you because everyone's sat there. But yeah, it's beautiful. We've got all the meats over here. It's all like the butcher's bit. Sirloin, right? All this. <laughs> Come back out of there now. And then we've got, we've got like Zara. Right, I could have a little look in Zara. Do you want to go in the candy shop? Okay, we'll go in Zara first. This area is really nice. Got all the little flowers and plants. Oh, they've got Groot with <laughs> plants hanging out of him. Cool. That is cool. Look at this flower. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna venture into Zara. <laughs> okay, I will see you in a minute. Going into an ASOS store. I didn't even know that was actually a thing. I didn't know they actually had shops anywhere. Top shop. Oh yeah, they got top shop over. This is so cool. Oh my god, I'm obsessed already. I love ASOS. <laughs> You're being a typical guy. Alright, I'll be around this area. <laughs> to have a little little look. How cute are these? Goodness. I love these kind of bodysuits. Got matching skirts as well with a top. I can't believe that. Am I an idiot? I literally had no idea that they had an ASOS store. Oh my goodness, I've literally like... <gasps> oh my gosh, that is the most stunning top ever. $85, look at that. They got a beautiful dress, but I'm obsessed with the top. The top is everything. <laughs> Some really nice pieces. Mm. Cute. These are everything. These outfits. There is the top. The skirt is so cute. Oh wow. I'm seeing more glitz, glam, and feathers. Oh, so pretty. I didn't get anything, it was mental in there. I wanted to have a look at the rare beauty stand. So crowded. Um, but yeah, it was just, I was just having a little browse. But yeah, we're just having a little mooch around here. Oh my goodness, it's massive. Look at this apple store. It's like mirrored up there, so it makes it look even bigger. So it's not as tall. But that looks so big. I always think like, what, uh, I don't know, everyone's testing to why Apple stores are so busy all the time. Because usually you kind of know what you want and what you're getting and you just kind of get it online. But I suppose people want to test them out now. They're just always really busy. We've got pressed juice over, we've got some pretzel stands. I can see Dittique in front of me, a big Nike shop. Yeah, pretzels. Oh, there's a nice little grass area over there. The vans. Right, there's a big Nike store ahead. Did you want to have a look in? This is such a nice area. Look how fancy Nike looks in this building. Very pretty. I'm into Nike now. Let's just have a look at that. Ryan really likes that. I think it looks nice. It's on the stand there. Some really lovely bits. We went into Adidas early and it had some really cool pieces, like stuff that we'd never get at home. I love that. 
It's really fun looking on all the shops to see what we can't get at home. Some really unique bits. These like fluffy shorts. Ryan's just checking out the pressed juice stand because we're going to hydrate. We might, I was going to see if we could sit on the grass but there's not really any shade. Is that normal lemon? We've come and sat down, we found some shade and we sat on the little grass just having a chill. Ryan's picked up a couple of frozen lemonades for us. We've got wetzels, pretzels, strawberry lemonade, frozen. And then we've got the regular one as well. But yeah, really like sour but in a good way. Like tasty, aren't they? I think I prefer the strawberry one actually. But yeah, definitely the refreshing pit stop. This is better, wow. But it's so nice just sitting around here taking it all in. There's so many families, people eating and drinking. It's really chill around here. So it's kind of the tree on you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't realise this because we were just sat in the grass, but if you want to come sit on this grass area in the grove, go over to the little blue pot and you've got blankets. Everyone was sitting on the blue blankets. I didn't realise some people weren't, but yeah, you can just go over there and grab it and then return when you're done, which I thought was really nice. Um, that's what everyone over here seems to be doing. And yeah, I just thought that was a really nice little touch. So, a bit later on, um, I think the last clip I filmed was when we were sat on the grass at the Grove. Since then, we caught a Uber back to our Airbnb. Um, I had a quick shower, freshen up, I got changed. Um, we were there probably about an hour, weren't we? Um, which was, it was felt so good just to freshen up a little bit. And the Uber cost $20 this time to get back. Um, and Ryan said like Lyft went up to $60 for the same journey. So that's mad how much that fluctuates. So just, if you're, if you're here and want to get Ubers and Lyft, just keep playing between the two and they fluctuate. Um, the view right now, we're actually going to the Griffith Park, well, Griffith Observatory point. Um, we're heading there for sunset. So I've heard amazing things about the view here. We've seen pictures online and it looks incredible. So Ryan's driving us to that area now. And then I think the plan later is to just try and find like a little bit of supermarket, get a few bits and then have in and out burger for tea because there's one near us. So that sounds like a great way to finish off today. I don't know, there's oh. like old looking trains. What does it say? Travel, Look at these. Travel museum. Travel museum. Oh. Cool. Look at the mountains, that's absolutely insane. I can't get over how built up the city is, it's crazy. Is it? This is really cool. It's a good grid of tunnel. We're going up to the free parking, so the. No, uh, no, no, we're not. I said that wrong. I meant to say paid parking. We're going to the paid parking, and it's $4 an hour. Um, but you can do the free parking and then walk up. But because the sun is obviously setting and time is against us, um, we are going up to the paid parking area. Hopefully, we get parked okay. It's all so hilly. I'm going up here. You did it. You made it. We had an absolute nightmare because the I'm lead. Free, yeah. Well, we're nearly there. The lead for the maps, the car play kept disconnecting and poor Ryan was just like, I don't know where I'm going and it won't connect and kept disconnecting. Right to has come. So we've got to go park down here somewhere, I think. Oh, is it full? Yep. Oh, bugger. <laughs> okay. Maybe we've got to spot, find a spot down here. Oh, really? So we've got to literally find one. Okay. We should have got here earlier. Well, I did. Uh, to be fair, I thought we had plenty of time. <laughs> oh, we're well, being demoted all the way down here. Wow. Okay. Well, oh, even if don't look, don't, don't look, don't look. If that makes you feel funny. No, it doesn't. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is insane. Wow. Okay. Um. We're not making this. Yeah, it's alright. Even if it sets, to be fair, we're going to get an amazing view of the city. Even if it's dark, it's going to look incredible. And look, I can we'll see... walk all around this to get... Look, there's the observatory up there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We've got to get all the way over there. It's all the way up there. We're still yeah. There's... <laughs> oh my gosh. There's the observatory there and we've got to get there. And we're still driving we're down this way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're not making that for sunset, but it'll be a nice experience nevertheless. We've got a bunch of cars here in front that are all probably trying to find a spot as well. Yeah, everyone else is doing the same thing. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> we did say it was popular in the evening. It is a Friday night as well. I don't know if that'll impact it more, but here we go. Here we go. Demote to the bottom of a line. <laughs> We've got a right trek ahead of us. We've just been driving for ages. <laughs> Here we go, parking spots. Oh, I feel kind of mugged off that we've got to pay. And walk all that, might as well have done the free parking. Um, I don't know, how long do you think? Do you think two hours would be enough? $20. I know. <laughs> We're not going to get there and back in an hour, are we? Down that other bit and walk up. I know, I know. Phil cheesed off because he looked online. It was $4 an hour. We got here, it's $10 per hour, so we might as well have gone to the free parking. That's where we need to be. We need to go up there. <laughs> and we got to walk all the way back round. That's going to be a right trek. <laughs> Started our little trek. <laughs> and it's very hilly. <laughs> We we'll definitely get our steps in today, right? Uh, we'll <laughs> Ooh, I've just tripped on a rock. I have to look carefully where I'm going here. But no, I won't fall down. Whatever I do, what? Oh yeah, I already did trip, but um, yeah, I know. I would have tripped that way. If I trip forward, that's okay. Do we? Okay. Yeah, it's very, very steep. <laughs> I know. It's an absolutely incredible view. Where we are, we need to get up there. <laughs> the view is insane. I will obviously show you better when we get up there. Look at that. We're still not there, but I just can't take, I can't get over that view. Right. Ryan's even taking a picture. Picture, picture. We're getting there. It's in distance. A lot closer. Look at that. I think we might just make it, you know. Just. The walk wasn't like, I know we're not there yet, but like it's, it wasn't as overwhelming as it looked going, we need to get all the way over there. <sighs> she says out of breath. We're going uphill right now, but it, it wasn't as far. So we're just marching on. Uh, we will get there just before it gets dark. Ooh, look at it. And just like that, we've made it. <laughs> Like I said, I didn't think it was too bad. Brian said it was pretty bad. I mean, I'm, I was out of breath, but we've made it and the sun hasn't completely gone yet. So that's always good. There's so many people and people just chilling, sitting down. It's really cool. You can go up the top there and obviously inside. And then the views are incredible. So we're going to go position ourselves. Oh, you can get a free telescope over there for public viewing. I don't trust that it says free. I feel like this city is so spenny. <laughs> yeah, this city is so spenny, honestly. <laughs> yeah, you can see the Hollywood sign. Obviously, it's probably very backlit right now because the sun is setting over there. This is the city view at the minute. That is crazy. I mean, the camera's not doing it just this. I don't even know what you can see because I'm blinded by the sun, so hopefully it's focusing somewhat, but I know it's definitely not doing it justice. <laughs> We've made it up to the top. We've come up to the top of the viewing point. This is even better, this is. I feel like the smog was proper interfering with the sunset over there. Yes, oh my god, yeah, it's so much better when I take my sunglasses off. 
Wow, this is amazing. Now we can stay here and wait till the sun sets and see amazing Los Angeles lit up at night. Oh, we did it. How do you feel? <laughs> we did it. We've come to another section. We've just like walked around and this view, oh my gosh, I feel like the view gets better and better. This is amazing. Look at that. I can't get over it. I'm obsessed. There's lots of telescopes up here that you can use as well. Take pictures. I feel like as the sun is setting, it's getting better and better. Yeah, steps down. Wow, all the mountains. It's the city. That's crazy. Look at the sun like setting on the trees, it's making it go orange. Sunset over that side. Yeah, let's head over that way. There she is, first glimpse of the Hollywood sign. Right in the distance, I've zoomed in quite a bit. Look, the sun's setting. Oh wow, that's sunset, huh? Oh, it's gone. It's, it's gone. It's just about gone, right? It's, it's gone. I just saw it disappear. Although on camera, it looks very much still there. It's the gleam. I just saw it go boop. <laughs> no, it was good. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, I thought, I thought that was it and everyone just like flood. Yeah. I thought you thought was being serious. Like Everyone was like, right, that's it, done. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a look inside. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, this is, this is really cool. I didn't expect all of us to be in here. It's got the family of stars revealing our sun, life cycles of different stars. Wow. Oh my goodness, they've got all these crazy pictures over there. I'll head over there in a second. Yeah, I'm guessing it's not working. It makes sense, the uh, sun's gone down, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's live image of a sun. I didn't think about that, yeah. <laughs> that was a, had a moment then. Press these buttons. Oh, what's happening? It's all sun stuff, you can't do anything with it. Oh, because the sun's obviously gone down. Yeah. That's cool though. We've got pictures here of the sun. So if we were in here when the sun was up, we would have seen all bits of the sun. Yeah. The sun. That would have been cool, but we had no idea. We've got stuff like eclipses and things over here. Ooh. Day and night. How people adapt to day and night. Ooh. Oh wow, we've got lots of different times there going around. Earth and the sun. I'll hold this there in case you want to read it. A pendulum here. I'll show you. It's like attached. Look at this ceiling. It's incredible in here. What a building. I didn't even realise any of this was in here. I knew you could go in, but I didn't really think about what was in here. It's pretty cool. So, this is proof that the earth is uh, Oh, really? Yeah. Because it constantly moves up there, but yeah. it doesn't change the direction. Yeah. Um, and then if you look down here, 
every 10 minutes it knocks over a peg. Oh, does it? But it's oh yeah, there's the pegs. But it's not knocked it over. No. The earth has knocked it over because it's moved. Oh, okay. You can't see on the camera because it's still dark, but there's pegs there. Well, the Griffith Observatory opened in 1935. Okay. Wow. It's back outside and it's properly dark now and um, it's so sparkly. The city is twinkling. Taking you over to the wall so you can see what it looks like. I have no idea what the camera's going to pick up but oh my goodness. Wow. Camera just doesn't do it justice, right? Really doesn't. Also makes it look lighter on the camera. Even though it's a much darker in reality. There we go. Look at that, it's all twinkling. That is amazing. You just see the orange dim from the sunset in the background. That looks absolutely insane. I highly recommend to anyone coming to Los Angeles for the first time to come up to Griffith Observatory. Honestly, it's a must. The scenes, the views of the city is crazy. And now everything is just like big silhouettes, but we're gonna head back to the car now. Music off of it. Google has taken us on a right trek through the hills. <laughs> and we really just want in and out. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to get to an in and out burger from the Griffith Observatory. We just left our parking space, followed this, and we're on like a tour now, like through all of this, the hills and it's dark and windy and yeah, crazy. Brendan. You're doing well though, right? Um there's some massive houses though that we keep seeing so I mean it's great because we're, we're seeing it but I feel for you because <laughs> you didn't ask for this I feel like I'm on GTA and I'm just driving around like the houses and that in GTA oh really do you know the way? <laughs> <laughs> no it's not, it's not to yeah scale. can you imagine if it was to scale the map but like this all looks familiar yeah because of GTA yeah <laughs> it's just crazy like I can't imagine living like in houses like this down this one you wrote. We was just saying like you've got to drive so long to get anywhere, but the houses do look incredible. Look at that! Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, <laughs> felt like a deer in headlights. Then I was like, <laughs> the internal like you know when you jump internally. Or like your heart sinks and that. That happened to me then, but I felt like a deer in headlights, just like the car just flying around. Like, <laughs> well, I feel like we've got onto flat land now. Yeah. You did it. We're out of the well, we're not out of the hills, but we're out of the main part of the hills. For you, on our way to In and Out. Apparently, we're eight minutes away. Did you say Chuck E. Cheese? Wow. No, trick or treat. Oh. I said well, you were Chuck E. Cheese. No, I, said, I bet it's cute down there. Yeah, the Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> I thought you just went Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> like, you know, imagine someone comes to your door and not stood there in a mouse outfit. And like, like a Chuck E. Cheese outfit. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. Cheese. Oh, creepy. Made it to In and Out finally after all the hilly drive. Um, I think I'm gonna get a cheat just uh oh I don't know. Do I get a double double? I don't know what shall I get. We've got minute made lemonade. Nah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go original coke. Know what I like. We both went for the double double cheeseburger meal and it comes with fries and a drink. I went for Coke. This was really, really good, I'm not gonna lie. And the fries, you get a really decent portion. It was quite cheap. So for both meals, they were, it was $20, which was probably the cheapest meal that we've had so far. 
but yeah, taste test. Mm. It's nice, but one criticism. My bun's a little bit a little bit tough to fry at them edges. Alright, Gordon Ramsay. Hmm? Alright, Gordon Ramsay, calm down. It is, it's not all the way around, just on this bit. Might might not be the same as yours, but the meat and everything is really nice. And the salad and that taste really, really good. Hey, mine However, now. steak and shake much better. <laughs> Hello, this is Sophie from the future. I was just editing this vlog and I was like, where is the final clip? I remember filming an end clip, so I don't know what's happened to it. I can't find it anywhere, so apologies for that. But basically, the next clip was me just in the Airbnb and saying like a roundup of a day and just kind of tying up the end of the video. So here I am from the future doing that. We had an amazing day, it was so good. We do so much walking, it was unbelievable. in and out Burger was amazing, it was so good. Just the bit of a bun, like I mentioned, was a bit dry at the front, but I did prefer Steak and Shake. And I don't know if it was just like the particular burger I had from Steak and Shake, it was just insane. And it was very much needed at the time. Definitely want to try that again in the future just to compare, but In-N-Out Burger was still really, really good. It was definitely needed at the end of that day. We had an amazing time and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a like and we will see you in the next one. Bye!